More than 100 teenage partiers fall through the floor inside this Arapahoe County home. One student captures the moment that floor collapsed. And that video is going viral on the phones of many Colorado high school students. And it has parents asking, how could this happen? Good evening. I'm Kelly Worthman. Thank you for joining us. Investigators believe 100 to 150 kids attended that party in the house. Only three of them are injured, we're told. Adults in the home appeared to be questioned about what happened when we were on the scene last night. The home is on Princeton Place in Arapahoe County, just west of E-470 in Quincy. That collapse happened around 930 last night. Our Michael Labeda reported on this breaking news for CBS4 this morning, and he shows us yellow tape now surrounds the house. Here's Michael with our top story. Saturday night, the floors of this house collapsed into the basement during a house party, leaving many of the party goers lucky to escape with their lives. This is a pretty rare event. Late Saturday evening, firefighters were busy reinforcing this home after the floor collapsed in the middle of a party. <laughs> South Metro firefighters were originally dispatched to a medical call at the house on East Princeton Place. When they showed up, they realized it was a much bigger deal. They saw a lot of people out in the street. Some of them were pretty panicked. So the crew changed into rescue mode. And like we were like a, picking up a friend away from like going to that party. This group of friends who didn't want to be identified are seniors at Eagle Crest High School. And they heard about the party on social media. They were on their way when they saw on social media they would be having an early night. He was like, dude, I literally got chills. Like, just yeah. look at this. We just picked up our friend in the next snap is a basement collapsing. South Metro says that even though it appeared hundreds of people were in the home, only three juveniles were injured, one of them severely. Most escaped on their own by climbing a staircase that stayed standing. It was possible for people to evacuate that way. It was also possible for people to evacuate out of egress windows in the basement. A natural gas line was ruptured in the collapse, so the home was evacuated. Firefighters say this serves as a reminder that overcrowding can be dangerous. It's something to be cognizant of. If it's a situation where it seems like there's overcrowding in any situation, it's best to avoid that. These friends say the accident made them reevaluate how they choose to spend their free time. Stay at home and do your homework. Don't go to parties. We did talk to the family that lives in this home. They say that everybody that lives there is okay, just very shaken up, and that they now have to live in hotels because the building department told them it's no longer safe to stay there until they get repairs done. In Aurora, Michael Aveta covering Colorado first.